Now you may be doing a mind piece where you want to put some objects in your mind world. You may be an actor who's working on blue or green screen and you have to pretend there's an object there which the animators are then going to animate in afterwards. So I'm going to show you some basic mime shapes to get you going. So firstly we're going to start off with a shoe box. We start off with a nice relaxed hand. The hand's in the shape of the shell as we call it in the mind world. We come in contact, when we come in contact with our object, we flatten the hand and slightly tense. Because it's a fairly small shoe box, our fingers are together. Take your hand away, relax the hand back into the shape of the shell, and release the tension. So the hand goes on to your object, nice and flat. Fingers are together. Take your hand away, relax the hand, back into the shape of the shell. This applies for the side of the box as well. Relaxed hand, come in contact with the hand, um, come in contact with the box. Flatten the hand, make sure you're not tilting or rotating the hand, make sure your thumb's not going through. Try and keep your hand as flat as possible to create the shape. Also make sure your hands are on the same level so you're not destroying your um, illusion. So for the next object, we're going to do a ball or a cup. Um, the shape's going to be that sort of shape. So we start off with a nice open hand. The hand goes towards your object. You close round the object. To release, you open your hand first and move away. Don't move away before you release because then you're creating some sort of tube or weird object that is going to completely throw your audience and spoil your illusion. So nice open hand. Close it round your object to release. Open your hand, move away from the object. Same for a small, smaller object. I go in with open fingers. I close round the object. I open the hand, open the fingers, and move away from the object. So another way to practice um, taking hold of an object and then releasing an object, making sure you don't go through your object, is pretend you've got a ball in your hand. With the other hand, you take hold of the ball, you release with one hand, you can rotate, you take, release, and again, just practice taking hold and releasing the ball. So, in this video, I've shown you how to create a couple of shapes, how to take hold of an object, how to release an object. So now maybe you wanted to pick an object up off a surface. Now, in mine, because it's stylized, we have to give a little stylized movement to show that it's actually broken away, whatever the object is, is broken away from the surface. So with, in mine, we do this. We take hold of our object, and then we get a little tick movement, a little top movement. And this just shows that it's come away from the surface of your mime shelf, your mime table. We put it back, make sure that it goes to a dead stop, take your hand, release and move away from the object. Also when you pick something up, start by trying to make it as natural as possible. And then maybe you want to make it more um, stylized. So you emphasize it. It's up to you. Play around with it. Play around with the box and the tick. Seeing if you can get that. And again, make sure if you're creating the object on a shelf, that you move away from the shelf. You don't go through your shelf and destroy your illusion that you've been working so hard to create. In this video, hopefully, I've got you thinking about creating mime objects in your mime world, how to take hold of an object, how to release an object, think about the shape as well. Also, I've shown you how to do the basic pickup of an object off a surface. So please do keep practicing. Come back and visit this uh, YouTube site because I will hopefully be putting some more videos up in, in the near future. And also check out my other YouTube channels at Mime Chat for things that I've done in the past.